So if you're thinking about putting up some YouTube videos, but you're in two minds because you're not comfortable in front of the camera, or you want to start doing some more Insta stories with you talking on there, then watch this video because I'm going to give you a few tips to grow your confidence. What's going on is Casey from casey-sounds.com. So today's video is how to be confident in front of the camera. I was talking to someone the other day and they were saying that they want to start putting out more Insta stories with themselves, with their clients, with the people that they work with, but they're not comfortable in front of the camera. They're, just, they're kind of freeze. My advice was people can sense when you're not being authentic. So there's no point in putting on an act. You might as well just, just be yourself because I know it's so, it's so cliche, but it's the truth. No one else can do what you do. No one talks like you. No one no one does what you do, do you know what I'm saying? And if they do, they're probably acting or trying to be like you. I just said to them, just be yourself. Imagine you're just talking to your, your friend, looking at the camera like you're talking to your friend. That's your friend on the other side, who you're totally comfortable with, 100% comfortable with. Once you push past the, the record button's been pressed or you feel like you're talking to the whole world, you've got to try and train yourself to not think that way because if you do then your mind can start you're, you're gonna start thinking over time and you don't want to do that because otherwise you, you can start fumbling your words and then you're gonna be uncomfortable and then you can start over analyzing things and like i said in my other video analysis paralysis you get to the point where you freeze up and then before you know you've, you've turned the video off and that's another video that you haven't done once you start doing the videos you get to a point where it, it starts to flow you find your style you find your pace you find your voice and you find you find where you're comfortable if you look back to my first video, one of my first videos that I've done in here, where I was there, uh, I think it's the free beats video. So there was like a little video that I put up saying that, uh, explaining who I am, and what they can expect. If you need more beats, check out the beats browser. There's, there's beats on there for you to go through. If you need customs, I can do that for you. Just let me know what you need to be done. My phone number's on my site. Check it out. Give us a ring. Email me if you need anything done. I can do it for you. Let's make some good music. Peace. When I look back at that video, it, I swear it, just, it makes me laugh so much because I look so stiff and uncomfortable. But I just wanted to do it and I'm glad I did because, like I said, the more you do something, the better you get at it. And I feel like that's a fact. I'm not going to sit here and pretend like I'm the most confident person in front of the camera. But what I will say is, me just being myself, it just comes natural in it. So I don't feel like I, I have to put on an act in front of the camera. If people don't like the way that I do things or people don't like the way that you do things, say things, don't get too upset about it. Just keep it moving because there's so much people out there that will resonate with you. They will be drawn to you and how you do things, how you say things and the person that you are. So just be true to yourself. Just do what makes you comfortable and that will help you to grow and build your confidence. If you're new to being on the cam, then I'll just say practice. Have a little practice run. Record yourself on your phone, on the camera, whatever you're going to use to record to, to upload your post on YouTube or, or Instagram whatever it is and just get used to how you sound how you look and how you're coming across but like i said over time that will build it might even change and you find your groove that you're you're comfortable your lane that you're comfortable in also another thing that holds people back from actually doing videos is is fear so once you kind of get out of that fear-based mentality before you know it you've built up your confidence you've built up a batch of videos you've got comfortable in front of the cam you're always going to be learning, you're always going to be grand. So, and just don't be so like hard on yourself. Just keep going, keep pushing forward and break through that fear based mentality that you might have without even realizing. Also, another thing to mention as well comments. You might get a few comments where people a little bit negative they're not really boosting your confidence or your ego which is something you shouldn't let happen anyway but what i will say is imagine going to a football match and you start giving them one of the players pure hassle calling them every name that you can think of you gotta remember you've paid for the ticket to go and watch them play so they're winning so that's how you got to look at things switch the whole perspective where's the comments coming from what is it coming from a place of help or is it coming from a place of nonsense so don't worry about all of that just keep doing your thing don't worry about all them comments they're not important to you don't focus on them ones hit me up on instagram if you want to talk got a question i'm always checking my dms always answering to my dms and dropping little hints and tips on my stories if this video has helped hit the like button hit the subscribe button hit the notification bell so you get notified anytime i put up a new video as per usual i appreciate your time